like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's your review of AEW and Dynamite. We commence in the 2nd of October. As you know, we're in England, so Rampage is delayed for a week in UK. So it starts with the Hardy Boys and Jay and they, Brother Zay, I should say, versus the acclaimed in a trios championship match. Really good match. Go and watch it. I haven't seen it, but in the end, no one's beating the acclaimed at the moment. Then Eddie Kingston calls out Romero, uh, says it's going to be an honor to face him. Then Jay and Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lee from Jeff Jarrett, approach Eddie, said he's uh, unfit to be the ROH champion, and they basically call him out. Then we have Rocky Romero versus Eddie Kingston in a really good match for the strong championship the japan strong championship really good match but in the end eddie gets the win then we have the aussie open call out ftr for their match at uh, wrestle dream because this is the rampage before wrestle dream and then we have also the righteous versus some guys um and the righteous obviously win then we have nick calling out uh, nick wayne calling out luchasaurus um, and he's going to make him pay, basically. Then in the main event of the evening, it's Ruby Soho versus Shida in a really good match. But Shida gets the victory. Then we go to Dynamite, the up-to-date Dynamite. So it starts up with Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega, uh, basically ready to take out the Don Callis family. And uh, Adam Copeland turns up, or Edge turns up. And he meets Kenny Omega for the first time. So we'll see what happens there. Then we have Nick Jackson versus Ray Phoenix for the International Championship in a really good match go and watch it if you haven't seen it but in the end ray phoenix gets the victory then we have um adam cole and roderick strong basically adam cole goes to roderick strong's house and they talk and adam um roderick strong makes adam cole move furniture then we have the return of wardlow who's back he basically flattened some guy and that's it but it's good to see wardlow back then we have don Callis and tonofsky say um sammy guevara wasn't clear to wrestle um, because he's injured so they got kyle fletcher in sammy guevara's place so let's see what happens there for a match later on then we have the acclaimed versus the butcher and blade and kid sabian kip sabian i think his name is he always loses anyway um versus for for the trios championship in a really good match but oh, well, come on now nobody is beating the acclaimed then we have the tony skit squad tony storm skit which is pretty cool then we have the bullet club basically come out call out mjf because for somebody jumped J jay white and they feel it was mjf and mjf basically comes out mocks the whole gang um, got the crowd chanting names, uh, mocking them as well. And then he says he wants a Stockton street fight. So then he comes down to take out the Bullet Club, who is uh, Juice Robinson and the Gun Club. And then from nowhere, he gets blindsided by uh, Jay White. And Jay White takes MJF's title. And he calls him out from... And it's basically Jay White says that MJF is a liar and calls him out for a match at full gear. Um, MJF soon later comes to his senses and goes, he accepts. Then we have Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega versus Tonofsky and Kyle in a really good match. Going watch, I haven't seen it. But in the end, Kenny Omega gets the win with a one-winged winged angel um, bomb, power bomb. Um, and then <laughs> from nowhere, Powerhouse Hobbs takes out Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega with a chair. So we'll see what happens there. Then we have MJF in the back. He says, um, then when he's in the back, getting seen by a physician by his back. Casta is just playing with his back and then MJF says he's stalking him, get away from me. And then he calls Adam Cole, but, the, but it goes to voicemail, so we'll see what happens there. Then we have uh, Samoan Joe, basically saying he's not done, he's been a champion everywhere he's been, and he's not, it's not on, it's not over, he's still coming for Max, he still wants to be AEW World Champion. Then we have in the co-main event, it, well the main event I should say, it's uh, Sky Blue versus Tony Storm in a really good match. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it, but in the end Tony Storm gets the victory. Then we have in the main segment of the night is Adam Copeland Edge basically comes out says he's looking forward to facing new opponents he lists off quite a few opponents he wants to face and he said the AEW World Championship will look good around his waist and also he says the reason why he's back because one of his daughters he asks his daughters what his next move should be should he retire and one of his daughters says no you should go and join Jay and have fun Jay meaning Christian Cage so he calls out Christian Cage Christian Cage comes out and basically, um, Christian Cage explains why he beat down Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne with a chair at Wrestle Dream because they was beating down a legend named Sting. And all the work and things that Sting has done for the business, he wasn't happy with that, so he beat them down with a chair. But then he says to uh, Christian that he wants him and Christian to team together before their uh, careers are over. And Christian basically says, in a lot of explicit and perverity, he just says no. 
So that's your review of uh, Dynamite and Rampage. Like, subscribe and leave a comment.